I think I might go to a one. It seems like it might be taken off the water, guys. The plug in? The plug was in when we left. We got a three tilt for the right now, we gotta go back. Way to way back to the clock. We're going down. Oh no. Drama. Woo! Lake St. Clair, here we come. Lopez Brothers, part two. Will we catch giant female walleye this time? I think we're due. Four hours later, and I'm here at Lopez's house. I feel jackery, bro. Oh, it's old school. Professor Birdman, what's going on, bro? This guy's like a doctor. He's the most educated guy of all of us anglers know. How many PhDs you got, Birdman? Oh, just one. You're hurting. And I like his car, man. It's like beat up just like the old days. Still getting tickets? Can you outsmart the cops? He'll, he'll sleep. Oh, is he? We probably went to bed late for you. Lopez got a uh, meeting. A meeting? No, the meeting got canceled. Oh, he's fishing with us. He's today. coming out. Things are good. And you know what? This pan is working. Dr. Boyd said it may not work. Cooking and catching vid at the same time. Lopez, you come in the afternoon, bro? Oh, yeah. We need a big thumbnail fish. You're a guy, bro. Dr. Boyd, say something. Big pressure. He's never been on camera before. Is it plug-in? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna start with the mud puppy in Wu-Tang. Let the games begin. Three quarter rounds, jig, black, mud puppy. There's tons of puppies in this river. Should work. First drop with the pup. Let's go. Here, lizard, lizard. Well, they like the lizard. Oh, he's in. First time I've ever used the black Wu Tang mud puppy down here, and I got a fish. My first fish of the day. Will the mud puppy continue to get bit, or will it be the straight minnow? That's pretty exciting, eh? There's a little groove in this tail where you can just tear it for more action. I did a little tear, tried it that way, bang, got bit. If you ever never come to Detroit River before, it's all about boat control. Just little tacks and little turns, adjusting plus or minus power to the wind and waves for over time. You know, press a little more, press a little less. Keep that line straight as you're jigging in this current. It's like a little video game and feel. It's a lot harder when the wind's kind of surging because it's a constant adjustment. You have to touch the remote a lot more often. Oh yeah, on the pop button. No, Senko. Well, it's honest. Okay, so he went to a Senko. And there it is. A little bit chopped down here, Yamamoto. Blackish gold. Okay, sweet. On green? Oh, yeah, he's on. Ian's on. White? Put him in the wall. That's a perfect eater. One for the white. White power minnow, stinger hook. Three quarter ounce? One ounce. Nice one, Ian. Ideally, we'd like them smaller because we don't know how much time we have to cook. We got another one. They're biting. It's Ian's day so far. What is it? Perfect. Ooh. Little mayo. <laughs> Sushi roll. I think I might go to a one. Now it seems like it might be taking off the water, guys. Oh. The plug in? The plug was in when we left. We got a three tilt pump on right now. We gotta go back. Right away back to the clock. Uh oh. We got uh, water in the boat. The plug is in, but did we put the right plug in? Is there a bilge? We're going down. Oh no. Drama. Woo! She'll still keep her off. Shit. Start bailing? We got drama. We got a leak. Bro, the plug wasn't even in. That's why I asked you guys. Is a plug in? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got the plug in. I asked the owner's brother of the boat, is the plug in? He says, yeah. And he's looking at the live wall plug. I guess the message of today is double check your friend's work. Watch that hole. I want to see how much water's in this. You got to get her out. Look at this. Oh yeah. It's right to the brim. I'll back her out. Uh, we won't tell Phil until he sees this bit. <laughs> This is good. Guys, this is so good for the bin. Something always messed up happens with you guys. Oh, buddy, lucky we pulled up when we did. Right now, things are scuffed up. We're hanging on a hinge. I think this is what the problem was, boys. Check this out. There's a live wall plug here. So when we look, it looked like the plug was in. But that was a different plug than this one. That was what tricked us. Man, when you're on someone's boat that's not yours, triple check. This is a team effort. Screw up. Lucky we were so close to the ramp, bro. Lopez is back. How was your meeting, man? Uh, Phil doesn't know what happened yet, but uh, <laughs> he's gonna find out. The carpet's never this wet. 
something happened here. There was a lot of water in this boat at one point. <laughs> <laughs> the inspector has showed up. The inspector. <laughs> There it is. Double up. Yeah. There it is. Oh, this one's not on the stinger. On the main. Main in the membrane. Went to the straight tail. Sorry, scuffed puppy. Maybe later. We got it on the green. Phil's on the green machine too. <laughs> Look at Brendan's back. I just signed my name. He's part of the cream team now. Oh. <laughs> That's the initiation fee. Oh, I'm not on the kicks, bro. My ASICs got cream, son. Nice. Is that a good one? Uh, I don't know. Oh, nice. Also in the mouth. Nice chunk. We're talking major cream team. Hey, nice walleye. Brendan, your mom's calling you. <laughs> Lopez shows up. Our boat's not leaking. Cream all over the boat. Look at this. All over the jackery box. Cream. And Brendan's on. Wow. More cream for the jackery box. Ding R. Put that meat in, bro. Another one. Oh my God. We got one here and we got one there. It's going crazy. I was just going to get his bait and I knew it's stanko time. Oh, I don't know what this is, dog. This might not be a walleye, they say. Oh, musky. He's got a musky. Musky. You're not supposed to take it out and take a picture. They're out of season, so you just gotta like lease it. You go like this on the side of the boat and that's your draw spreaders. It just opens up for you. She gone. Yeah, you better grab that, dude. She's gonna... this. Oh, there it goes. Anywhere it juts out, you got a break on the current, that's where all the walleye set up. So those are good places to look anywhere. You know, it's a broad concept, right? Another random catch, we thought we had a sturgeon. It was just a rapala. See some birds. Like, they're so different than the bird man, but so similar. Cause you're both so fly. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I got a good one. Nut, boys, nut. This could be our thumbnail fit. I got a good one on Dr. Boyd's Danko, and it's in the mouth. That's a big fit. Yeah, it's a good one. It's our best one for sure. Nice. We did it. Woohoo! That's the fish, bud. That's what we're looking for. Thumbnail, thumbnail time. Just got a nice one. There it is. The biggest one of the day. I'd say about 25 inch, though. On this day, they were really biting. We got them on power minnows. We got them on mud puppies. But if I had to pick, it would definitely be chopped down Senkos with the stinger hook on three quarter rounds of one ounce jigs. Check this out. I was going on another major flurry. The bite just kept getting better and better. Insanity. We are literally catching them one after another. I'm not even filming the fish anymore. So many darts. I think we have enough wallet to go eat. Don't know it's a good spot on the island. We have enough power. Hopefully we do, because we're all starving. But uh, let's get the island, set up camp. Someone else is here. Maybe they'll eat with us. Thank you, Catch and Cook, for giving us this knife. It's amazing. It's Jimmy's amazing. knife. He's doing a great job. We got our spicy jimmies. All right, we're just setting up on a less windblown spot. I'm liking this flat top of the Jackie Brock. You put stuff on there, kind of like a table. Oh my God. Project one, fail. Project two, doesn't look much better so far. We're doing walleye on a stick right now. This is ridiculous. Yours is looking mint, bro. It might work. Jamie's roasting on an open fire. That's Phil's stuff in the middle. He's trying the rock style. Yo, yours looks like a starfish on a rock. <laughs> How not to cook with Jimmy's perch powder. Mine's Cajun, man. It's black and dust. Times are hard. Starving too. We haven't eaten all day. <laughs> 
bad. Really? A little smoky. <laughs> a little smoky. Hint of oak. So far, I would say that Ian and cooking is a fail. But Phil's, there's a little ash blowing on it. Oh no! The ash is going all over. <laughs> I just broke off this little piece. Very blackened. I'll try it. <laughs> this is terrible. It really is powdery. Kind of tastes like an ashtray. We're just boys from the city trying to be up north. You know what I mean? Oh. This is beyond science. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Detroit River walleye or that tuna sandwich, which has more lead in it? It's hard to say. 